Alright, so for this one you want to go down to your start menu, go over to computer, right click it, and scroll down to properties. When this opens up you can go to advanced system settings, and then you're going to go to the settings tab under performance, and then you're going to go and click on adjust my PC for performance. It's going to uncheck everything that's unnecessary, but I would recheck use visual styles on windows and buttons. In this clip I did not check the box, it says smooth edges for screen fonts, I would recommend checking that box. It just helps to make text look a bit nicer. For this one you want to go down to your start menu and type run in the search bar. Click on the first result and then in the little box you're going to type msconfig which is spelled like it sounds M S C O N F I G. Click OK. And when that opens up, you're going to want to go to the Services tab and scroll down and click on Hide All Microsoft Services. You're going to want to uncheck everything in this. Just uncheck it all. It's all unnecessary things. If you see something that's absolutely crucial, you can leave it checked. In the startup tab, you're going to want to do the same thing. Everything in this tab slows your computer down whenever you go to boot it back up. And if you need any of this, you can just reopen it when you go to use it. And then just hit it, apply and then OK. And restart your computer if prompted. For this one, you're going to want to go down to your start menu. In the search bar, you're going to type device manager. When it pops up, you're going to click on it. This is going to bring up all the drivers that your computer uses and every now and then it updates release form that you might not have and um, it usually improves performance. To check to see if there's an update for these is pretty simple. On the main page here you're going to see a list of different things, processors, network adapters, monitors. You're going to click on one of them, it will bring down a little drop box for instance network adapters and you'll see the network driver. You'll click on that and then you'll stroll up to the little green arrow at the very top of the window. You click on that and then it'll give you an option to search automatically online for the updated driver and uh, you're good to go. Alright, for the next one you're going down to your start menu. Go to all programs and then go to accessories and then go down to system tools. Here you're going to click on the disk cleanup. It does usually take a minute or so, just depends on how long it's been since you last cleaned it out. But um, once it loads up here, you don't really need to check any boxes. Um, you can check offline websites if you want, but you don't really need to check any boxes aside from what's already checked. And then uh, once you've gone through it to make sure everything's good, you go down and hit OK. And then it'll uh, remove these unnecessary files. Alright, so for this one, go down to your start, go to all programs, go to accessories, and then system tools, and then you'll see the defragmenting, you'll click on that. First, you're going to click on your hard drive and hit analyze. It'll do a quick scan through just to check it out. It'll uh, see how much has already been defragmented, if anything. If you've never done it, then it's going to come up as 0%. Once this is done, then you just go ahead and uh, click on the drive again, and then hit the defrag button. I would save this for the last thing you do because it can take a very long time. There is the option to uh, pause or stop, but um, I would recommend just letting it go once you start it, but it could take up to a few hours depending on how bad it is. For those of you that are unaware of what defragmenting is, it goes through your PC and it kind of like, it's like cleaning your room. It reorganizes everything, gets all the crap off the floor and just put things where you will be able to find them easier so when you go to queue something up let's say you go to op op open up your browser it doesn't have to search for the files things are just on hand and ready to go making for quicker reaction times for this one you go down to your start menu go to computer right click on your hard drive and go down to properties then you're going to click on tools and then you're going to go to the error checking and click check now. It's going to bring up this little box. You're going to click on scan and attempt recovery of bad sectors. 
Now for this you have to have every window and application closed. Nothing can be running in the background. Close it all out. Otherwise it won't work and um, you'll get an error. From personal experience, the only anti-spyware and anti-malware programs that you will need will be listed in just here in a few seconds. Um, again, this is my opinion. A lot of you may have different opinions on programs that you may have or uh, may need. But as far as um, I'm concerned, this is all I'll ever use. And if you have Norton or McAfee, um, I would recommend removing those in place of these just because they have been known to cause errors with other programs and uh, slow your PC performance. To get this program what you want to do is go down and click on uh, Google and um, type in super anti-spyware. It's going to be the first result you come to. Click on that and then uh, you'll have four different options here. Just click on the free edition and uh, begin download. After you download it and you uh, begin the installation on the last screen before you're ready to uh, start using the program there will be a little checkbox that's already pre-checked it'll uh, be pre-checked to give you a free 30 month uh, trial of the pro version the problem with that is is after the, the trial is up you then are unable to use the program unless you purchase it so if you uncheck that box you can just use the free edition um, the entire time For this next one, you're going to go down to your browser once again. Go to Google and type in Malware Bytes. It will be the first result you come to. So you click on that. Once it loads up, you scroll down. You click on the free download. And then it will ask you to enter, enter in your name and uh, your last name your email. It doesn't give you any spam or anything, so don't worry about that. And uh, once you enter in that information, Click submit and uh, you're good to go. There'll be a little option to download. Click there and the download will start automatically. Once it uh, starts, it's a small file. Once it uh, is done downloading, um, open it up, install it, and uh, it'll do almost the same thing that Super NS by World do. We'll ask you to give you a free trial of um, the upper version. Just decline that and continue with the free version and you're good to go.